So, you want to buy a monkey and teach him finance? Well, that sounds like monkey business to me. Hey guys, I'm Batats by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at this cool Discord mock-up that I've made recently. So, essentially, recently, Discord mentioned that they're going to be changing a lot of things, especially about the way people's names appear. Um, so, I got this idea to kind of do a little bit of a mock-up of what Discord would look like if it looked completely different. Well, not completely different, but if it looked if it looked a lot different, essentially. So, um, I kind of want to just go through uh, some of the things that I did and uh, and share this with you guys because I, I like it quite a bit. I do personally like the way Discord looks a lot, but uh, that being said, I mean, everything can use a mock-up, you know what I mean? So in the past, we've done uh, the Discord logo before, um, like pixel art-wise and, and non-pixel art-wise, and we've done a couple, I can't remember exactly which ones we, we did, but we did a couple of reimagining of logos um, in the past, and I love that, and I want to do that a little, a little bit more because I think it's really fun to kind of take something that um, that you like and then just give it a different spin. Not because you think it looks bad or you think it, you need, it needs to be you know replaced or different or something, but just because you like it, you know, and you, and you want and you think that way. This could look this could look different. I I, I see this in a different in a different way, you know, like I'm um, just remodeling the Lipton tea packaging. I don't know, but for for right now, what I'm doing is I, I really want to get down the because to me, Discord is broken into two different pieces. Uh, one is the messages, and then two is the little sidebar where it says all of your friends and you know all the messages they've sent to you, uh, as opposed to actually going into a singular DM from someone. So I wanted to get down those two pieces, um, and I kind of want to just focus on those two pieces. I didn't really want to focus on anything else. I didn't want it to be bogged down. I'm, I'm a super minimalistic person, and I like when things are extremely simple to the point where it's, like, overtly simple. Um, so, uh, that's basically all that we have here. It's literally just the left-hand side uh, sidebar or the side panel of all, your, of all your friends and all the DMs I can send you, and then the actual DM itself. Now, the biggest thing that I would say that I was focusing on is trying to get everything aligned because this is a professional application, so I kind of wanted everything to look, you know, nice and professional and even and secure, you know what I mean? So... The thing is, is if I were to go ahead and do this by hand, it wouldn't really be, it wouldn't really be as uh, uniform, is the word I'm looking for. It wouldn't be as uniform. So, something that I can say, um, if you're trying to recreate something, you're trying to make a professional type um, mock-up, or if you're actually making the design itself, not even just a mock-up, Definitely use guidelines. Whatever your program, whatever program you're using, whether it's GIMP or it's Photoshop or if it's anything else, there's most likely guides in anything. I know there's guides in GIMP and in Photoshop, obviously, but I'm talking about in you know um, smaller programs that maybe aren't um, maybe aren't as uh, recognized. But there's got to be guides somewhere. So make sure you're always using guides if. Um, if you think that it's necessary, because like I said, all of this text, all of these profile pictures, all of these icons really, really need to line up. And that was the most important thing to me in this, because um, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of issues with trying to keep things uniform. And if you don't, it kind of gets into this messy situation where it doesn't look as professional as it could. So it, it, for instance, like I said, this is super minimalistic. And if I were to go ahead and not really focus on it being super lined up or super even, then it would kind of take away from it. So if all these profile pictures were spaced apart or they weren't on the same, you know, they weren't on the same line, they weren't on the same grid, it would look a little strange. So like I said, the biggest thing I always see people um, see people do or ask about why they're, why they're having issues or struggling with the way this looks you got to make sure everything's lined up and everything is, you know, back and forth and, and, and it's perfect instead of um, it just being all over the place. So that's the biggest thing that I can say. That's really what I, what I want to talk about today is just making sure everything is um, is perfectly squared away. And in a lot of instances, what you can do is group things together and then it'll make things a lot easier to move them around if you really want to later on. So for instance, all of these um, profile pictures and and text on the left-hand side, they're all grouped together. They're all grouped together individually and then all together at the same time. So each one with the profile picture and the text to the right, each one of those is grouped together. And then all of those individual groups are also grouped together. So it just makes it super easy um, to to put things together and keep them cohesive. So I hope you guys, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed today's um, little speed art and uh, tip of the day. I will see you in the next one. This is the uh, finished piece here. I like it a lot. It's super, super simple. 
and um, I like it. I do enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I think like, like I said, Discord looks great the way that it is. I just really enjoy making some mock-ups. So if you have another type of uh, mock-up you want me to make or a reimagining of a logo or design, let me know down in the comments. I will definitely take a look at it and I will see what we can do. But until then, bye-bye.